Hey okay, guys, welcome back to All Day RC again. So we've got an unboxing video today, and it's, um, I'm going to call it the new Spartan, but the actual um, boat itself is pretty much the same. Uh, it's their new paint scheme. Um, I don't know if it's the actual name or not, but I'm just going to call it like Aztec, because that's what it looks like. So I've gone for the blue and white Aztec theme. They also do one, which is, uh, I believe they call it rock and roll, or Hawaiian style. Um, I got this in the UK from Appliance Electronics, uh, superb price and superb service as usual. I'll put a link down for his website in the description. Um, I've been waiting for this one some time and I just particularly wanted this colour. I've never owned a Spartan before, I've got an M41 which is absolutely brilliant. Um, however, uh, I stayed away from the Spartan because um, they did need a few upgrades and things and the M41 was perfect. However, this paint scheme is going to make it all worthwhile I think. So, get her opened up. Let's see what's in the box. So this is um, a 6S boat. It's got the same power system that the, uh, the Cat has got, the M41. Okay, let's get straight in. Okay. As usual, standard retractors, very, very well packaged. Okay. It's got your little bag of instructions, put some bobs, you get your stand, you get a spare prop, and you get some marine grease. Uh, their marine grease is very good. And the only thing I would say with the props, it's worth having a few on hand, because I do quite regularly break props when they hit something. Right, we'll get the stand out, just get the main plastic parts of the stand, and I'll um, put that together so I'm not putting the boat straight down on the table. Okay. They are pretty basic, their stands, but you can always put something together yourself if you want something a little bit better. Okay, so spares, we don't need them. Okay, put the back out first, get the protector's layer off, that's lovely, it's got like a matte texture, matte finish to it, which is really really nice, um, always trying to everything is nicely in line and symmetrical, um, or fairly symmetrical, my M41, um, that was quite a long way off, but it didn't really matter with that kind of uh, design. Right. We shall uh, look at the boat itself. Absolutely stunning. Um, it's definitely a good size. It looks the same size as the cat. Uh, yeah, I'd say it is. So, um, I'm going to start putting that part. We'll have a look on the back. So you've got your stainless steel tabs and the V-fins here. So you haven't got the fins on the M41 because it's a cat and it doesn't need it. Um, rudder. A little bit of play in there. Might have to look at that. You've got your prop. Um, shouldn't have this big gap here. So I shall have a look at that. Um, the prop shaft obviously isn't set in properly. So well worth checking. And then uh, your outdrive part of your um, shaft there. So... That all looks good. Take the cockpit off. So it's just a single E clip. Holds that in place. That's very light. The M41's got polystyrene in there to help it float. This hasn't. So I might add polystyrene on the off chance that this comes off. Let's get that to one side. Okay, so the inside of your boat here, um, very similar to the M41. So waterproof receive uh, waterproof um, servo at the back stainless steel screws through this although they are uh, traction stainless so they're not the best quality um, coming across you've got your waterproof receiver box castle creations esc and castle creations motor which i think is one of the things that makes these um, as good as what they are so you've got water cool and pickup coming from the rudder coming through the esc to cool that and then through to the motor now I have seen quite a lot of people put dual pickup on um, for dual cooling because obviously by the time the water gets to the motor it's already starting to warm up. I'm in the UK and the water temps are normally cold so I don't find it an issue. 
for you guys that are stateside and things like that, you might want to think about that. So other than that, that's all pretty straightforward. Um, I will be changing the connectors on here to XT90s. This whole electronics tray just comes out quite easily. Um, I'll probably also put some red towel lights across the back, which I did with the M41 as well. But I might get the splash guard, spray guard um, piece to go on the back there and then fit them under that. I'll see when the time comes, but they do look nice at night time when it's dusk. And then as you can see the design wraps around the bottom there. It feels a little bit lighter than the, the cat, and this is supposed to be a couple of kilometers an hour faster. So uh, we shall see. Other than that, I'll grab the transmitter so you guys that aren't familiar with um, Traxxas can see it. Grab your transmitter. So this is just your standard two-channel transmitter. Um, not bad quality Traxxas ones. You know, they take four double A's in the bottom. Good to go. You can get a Bluetooth module to go with it. Um, other than that, all pretty much um, standard and self-explanatory. Right, I hope you like that, guys. Um, I will be getting a running video up very, very soon, I hope. Uh, a friend of mine's also bought one of these, so you'll hopefully see uh, some dual running videos, two at a time, which always looks nice. And um, yeah, right, thank you very much for watching, guys. Any questions, uh, just ping me in the comments. And um, if you've got one as well, if you guys have got any recommendations for upgrades and bits and bobs, just let me know. Thank you.